These rather colourful straps, by the way, are made by those lovely uh, Paxton and Morris people. Um, uh, I'll put the uh, website uh, up on uh, on the credits and so on, together with our esteemed director, of course, Daryl B. Hell to pay. You know, uh, he's a hard-working man. He's been producing uh, films for us for many, many years. He did all the Arizona's uh, videos and uh, and all those things back in the day. Um, anyway, I make no apologies for this long song because this just is. This one is another one in my top ten greatest songs absolutely ever, ever, ever written. And, uh, and several people have requested it as well, so this is not just an indulgence, my dear sir. Cadian Driftwood. Ooh. 
wonder reason to remain. Well, the world turns to the fields down from New Orleans. It was ever green until the flood. You can call in a man on your way home. Said the tempest not now I've got a Requests for um, uh, Willin and and you know it's, uh, little feet stuff. I, I'm actually gonna do something different. I don't do this one very often, but again, one of the one of my uh, all time happy uh, happy gigs was uh, putting on Paul and Fred from Little Feet um, in the Globe at Topsham a few years back, and I got to play and sing with them, and uh, I got to do this song with them. It's another Lowell George song, uh, just as lovely as Willing. Uh, but a different different kind of thing and um, we used to do this one with the electric band and again I should uh, should revive it and love this song long distance love Hello, get me missing persons they said what is it that you need they said oh I need a soul they said you gotta stop Love. 
of the late Lowell George. They don't write them like that anymore. So stepping back into uh, jolly old Albion band days, um, uh, time I was living at Daglingworth, uh, Phil Beer, the horse years. Yeah, I lived at a, a horse yard for a while. Um, and uh, it's about that time um, uh, we made Albion Band 89, Give Me a Saddle or Trade You a Car. It was a real fun album to make. And um, we uh, did the uh, photography and all the rest of it around, in and around the stables and the place where I was living. And uh, it features a picture of me on a, a horse called Thomas, Big Thomas, massive, great uh, creature. Um, with his nose in a the bonnet of an old beat-up beat car. Uh, of course, it had food laid o across the top. And, uh, yeah, that takes me back. It's, um, one of Ashley's contributions to that was to say, let's do a Dylan song, of course. And, uh, as you know, um, as many of you know, that um, uh, Ashley, obviously, uh, is extremely fond of Bob Dylan. And Bob Dylan is actually... Uh, you know, quite fond of Ashley as well, and even Dylan calls uh, Ashley something like the Godfather or the uh, the, the father of uh, folk rock, uh, which is very very interesting and uh, so on. But. Anyway, this is the one we did. This is uh, a Dylan reworking of uh, uh, another hoary old traditional song, but I'm particularly fond of this one. Shall never kill him. 
O'Brien stole his stallion, told him and they brought him back. They laid him down on the jailhouse ground, with iron chained around his neck. Old Riley has a blood curdling tale for you. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yeah, as I uh, said before, there's some um, there's some good stuff coming up in the not too distant future. We've been beavering away for the last week or so on some uh, new Chopin stuff, and uh, all will be revealed in the not too distant future. Joke again. This one is smaller. It's not further away. I know it looks like a ukulele. This is uh, one of Paul Brett's Vieta guitars. I'm particularly uh, enamoured with uh, these little guitars. Um, his idea was that they were going to be travel guitars. Uh, I think there's much more to them than that. And also, um, you get a lot for your money. This one's about 250 quid, but the electronics in it are absolutely first class. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a great, lovely little guitar. So let's give it the... Hoy tax and treatment.
Boy Axton, another of my heroes, and uh, of course where I learnt the blind fiddler from all those years and years ago. But that's uh, one of his own songs, and it's one of my favourites as well. It's great fun uh, playing through the um, the Cornish songbook, you know. Um, Ralph Dunstan is a vicar, I think, and he kind of compiled a thing, but he, he literally just redlined a whole bunch of well-known folk songs, you know, he probably looked through Bering Gould, he looked through Cecil Sharp, he looked through everything, and just uh, rewrote all this stuff, basically, with Cornish references, uh, you know. Um, Lincolnshire Poacher becomes the, you know, a Cornish smuggling song, and all sorts of things like that. And this this one is, uh, you know, everyone knows this song, there are many variations, but this is, of course, this is a Ralph Dunstanism again. Street, way above the man down, a saucy young baby I chance for to meet. Oh, give me some time to blow the man down. Blow the man down, please, blow the man down. Way blow the man down. We'll blow him away, boys, to camel for town. Give me some time to blow the man down. Says here a smuggler, and that I can see. the kind of song we used to get on to uh, after um, after all the piano playing you see we used to um, uh, you know after we'd gone through the hymns on a Sunday night things would mellow out and out would come the Cornish songbook and uh, uh, Carol especially my uh, late aunt would uh, would play through some of those songs which is why I knew them in the first place you know but I, th I sort of in my head because this is the place that I'd heard them first apart from some of the stuff that was still in use from Cecil Sharp at primary school, um, of course. Um, you know, this is the first place and first time I'd heard any of these songs, so I assumed, of course, that this was uh, these were the real McCoy. And I only discovered years and years later when I rediscovered the the songbook, of which I have several copies. In fact, that's uh, in fact, <laughs> you know, it's a bit of a 
it's a bit of a rewrite, but uh, there you go. Anyway, I love that one. It, uh, it takes me back to my childhood. So. <laughs> Exeter and moved up there with another mate of mine, uh, Paul Blight. Hope you're watching these Paul out there in the Cyprus. I bet it's warm there. And um, so, uh, yeah, we um, Brighton's a fantastic place. I uh, love it to bits, but it's useless for gigging from. So, uh, anyway, um, uh, I already knew Johnny Copping a bit, and there was an agent who was interested in working for us. Um, and they were all around and based in Cheltenham. So, uh, um, so amongst other things, Johnny just pointed out the kind of obvious thing. The reason why they had all gone to college there, all the guys from Decameron and had stayed there, firstly because they formed a band, obviously Decameron, but also the fact that they just found it a very uh, convenient geographical location. Yeah, or place, as some people might say. And, uh, of course, it, yeah, it was. I mean, that's probably the most convenient uh, part of the world I've ever lived in and I did live in Gloucestershire for quite some time you know so um, everywhere seemed to be about two and a half hours away um, <laughs> which of course is not the case now living back where I was born in Exeter but that's hey that's the way it goes and it's irrelevant at the moment anyway because none of us is going anywhere but um, but that's a, that's a whole other thing anyway so there's so many other people hanging out there including Steve Ashley and I did, um, I did uh, feeling lazy on the last, uh, the last uh, show, uh, but this is definitely his uh, sort of heralding winter song. I love this one. This is Fire and Wine. <laughs> Prospectors 
So the last, uh, the last Buckle and Item in the second set, um, it's a collaboration, in fact, between myself and Odette Michel, and uh, filmed and recorded remotely, um, just for your delectation. Uh, Odette's over in Rickmansworth, at that lovely old uh, farm that she lives on. And um, this is... Uh, yeah, this is the, the wonderful thing about old songs, you know, there are so many different versions, so you're all well used to Mary uh, from Dunbo, you know. Three wells is gonna go, the rest is hungry door. But um, this is another version, and this version is actually a West Country version, it comes from um, Bering Gold, it comes from the, um, the, the, well, the Bible, in fact, which is Songs of the West. And that's called The Irish Girl. Uh, it's the same song. It's absolutely the same song, uh, but uh, severely adapted. Uh, but Odette has made one change to it in that um, uh, the version in Bearing Gould in the last verse, I wish I was in Exeter, all seated on the grass. But um, because she's originally a Cambridge girl, she uh, substituted Cambridge for it. That's the folk process, my dears. So... Um, yeah, so this is the uh, penultimate thing in this set. So thank you so much for listening and uh, tuning in, folks. And uh, yeah, watch. Just keep watching um, the Facebook page. Keep watching the website. There is a load of stuff coming up in the not-too-distant future. Take it easy, folks.
So there you go folks, um, thank you very much for tuning in, uh, I hope you enjoyed that, um, it'll be a while before I get time to do another one, um, so yeah, end of, end of July, beginning of August, keeping my fingers crossed basically. For